Hey everyone, so in this video I wanted to talk all about closed captioning in Articulate Storyline 360. Closed captioning is super easy uh, since Articulate came out with the um, closed captioning feature and the editor, things are a lot easier to do. So first off I wanted to show you a couple of the player settings related to closed captionings. So we're going to go into the player. Um, so once you're in the player, you have the ability to, if you don't have any audio narration in your course, you might want to turn closed captions off. This will turn your closed caption button off. So there's that. And then if you go into, um, let me see, color and effects, you can also choose which font size or font you want to use for your closed captions and your percentage. So some people uh, find that the default 100% is not very large um, for their closed captioning. And or if your if your audience is using mobile devices, they might not find it large enough. So you can increase this percentage up to 200%, uh, which is great. I believe it used to be 125%, but uh, they've since expanded it to 200%, which is awesome. So those are the closed caption um, features, um, I believe. Let me see, there might be a text label as well for closed captioning. Let's, let's go down to the C's and take a look. Yeah, so you've got your closed caption button for screen readers. So you can change that text if you want. You've got your closed caption button tooltip, um, and you can change that text if you would like as well. That's the text that would pop up or be read by a screen reader. All right, so let's exit the player. And in a previous video, we created some text-to-speech, and text-to-speech is a really has has a great feature. <clears throat> when it comes to closed captioning. So um, let's just, um, do, 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 let me see here. Yeah, so let's just delete this one and we're gonna put, sorry, sometimes, ah, sometimes it doesn't wanna cooperate for me on a, my Mac. Um, <clears throat> So let's put some, te some text to speech in here. And I'm just going to copy from slide notes because I have some slide notes here. Cool. And then this button is ticked by default, generate closed captions. Um, you can uncheck it if you don't want closed captioning, but uh, if you check it, let's click insert and go up to options edit captions, you'll see that what was in my notes panel is also closed captioned in from the text to speech. So that's really cool. Another neat thing is if you have no audio on a slide and you insert audio, um, so say you have say you have a closed caption um, generated, um, a lot of people get closed captions generated from like rev.com for example or an external site download them and then you have all of your closed caption files if you have your closed caption file the same exact same file name as your audio file and the two are in the same location if you go to add it to a slide that doesn't have audio the closed caption will automatically import so let's just see that here insert audio from file. Here I've got my closed caption demo and I also have a, you can't see it here, let me see, all files. So we have closed caption demo.mp3 and then we have closed caption demo.vtt which is our um, closed caption file. So because these are titled the same, if I import this mp3 it should pull in the associated closed caption. So let's see that here, and it did. So if we go into edit captions, 
you'll see the closed caption file that we imported. Perfect. So that's super handy, um, but the key to remember there is that they have to be the exact same file name, um, with the exception of the extension, of course. <clears throat> now, say we want to just put in our own closed caption, um, we can, we'll delete this. So we've got an audio track, but we want to add a closed caption um, that we type out. The closed caption editor will appear and it will kind of auto generate um, like if it'll it'll kind of guess where you want the closed captions to be. So if you have a longer audio track, you'll see a whole bunch of these little black blocks. Um, and so all you have to do is click into this and the audio track will start playing so that you can type. This is a 6040 layout with a snowy. So it ended at with a snowy, so we need another closed caption, so we can insert caption. Cliffside cabin. Cliffside cabin. There we go. And now we have our closed captions. So once you build out your own closed captions, you can also export those captions so that you can save them. If you wanted to have shorter chunks of closed captions, you can split a caption. So this is a 6040. So this one's split at 6040. We would delete the layout with a that, paste it there, and then we've now got three closed captions. So that would just create smaller chunks <clears throat> of your caption. You can also delete a caption. So say we wanted to delete that one, just hit the button. Um, so it's it's really handy. Um, I'm not going to save any of those changes. <clears throat> you could also choose to just import a closed caption. So if you have one located somewhere else, say they're not in the same folder, you could import, go to your closed caption, and bring it in that way. Um, so yeah, there there's quite a few options when it comes to closed captioning. I'm also going to be sharing in a separate video a quick um, tip for creating like a almost like a described video closed caption because um, you can do a lot with silence <clears throat> by uh, adding some silent audio tracks and then adding closed captions that way. So I'll share that in a little while, but hopefully this was helpful.